Okay, see if you can calculate the formal charge for each of the atoms in this molecule using the formal charge formula. So work on this molecule, pause the video and work on this molecule yourself. And when you're ready, uh, press play. Okay, hopefully you've given this a shot. So let's break this down atom by atom. Okay, so starting with this atom on the left, the nitrogen on the left, the piece of information we need are the number of bonding electrons. And we also want to know the number of non-bonding electrons. Because we're going to apply these into our formal charge formula. So the number of bonding electrons we have, well, we've got two bonds, right, to the other nitrogen. So um, each bond has two electrons. So we've got a total of four bonding electrons. And we also have a total of four non-bonding electrons. So these lone pairs here, these are non-bonding electrons. And plugging this into our formal charge formula, we're going to start with the number of valence electrons in a free neutral atom. And the atom in question here is nitrogen. So we're going to start with five. Okay, so five valence electrons in free neutral nitrogen. Now we're going to say subtract by one half times the number of bonding electrons, which is equal to one half times four, which is going to give us two. And so note the shortcut. You could get the same answer if you just count the number of bonds. Okay, you get the same answer if you just count the number of bonds. And let's also subtract the number of non-bonding electrons, which is four. Okay, so five minus two minus four gives you five minus six. Okay, which is actually minus one. Okay, so the charge on this nitrogen is minus one. Uh, but you'll usually just see a negative with a circle. That means minus one. Okay, so that is that nitrogen on the end. Let's have another look at the let's have a look at the uh, nitrogen in the middle. Okay, so let me use red this time. So number of bonding electrons for this nitrogen in the middle. Well, again, it's got two bonds to the other nitrogen as well as the two bonds on the left. So it's actually got a total of eight bonding electrons. And non-bonding electrons, does it have any lone pairs? Uh, no, it doesn't. So total of uh, uh, zero. So eight minus zero. So, or sorry, eight and zero. So starting with the number of valence electrons in free neutral nitrogen, that is uh, five. Now five minus one half times the number of bonding electrons. So that's one half times eight or four. Okay, now again, you get the same answer by just counting the number of bonds. We've noticed we've got four bonds here. And the number of non-bonding electrons is zero. So five minus four minus zero. This is a charge of plus one. Um, but like I said, most of the time, you'll just see it written as plus, okay, plus. So finally, we get to this nitrogen on the end. And the nitrogen on the end, well, it looks kind of familiar, right? It looks like exactly like this molecule on the left. We've got a total of, um, well, we've got four bonding electrons. We've got four non-bonding electrons. And, and uh, so it's going to give us an answer of five minus one half times four. So five minus two minus four. So five minus six is, again, minus one. So a charge of minus one, or usually just show minus. So the charge for the molecule overall is going to be minus 1, plus 1, minus 1. In total, it's going to have a total charge of minus 1. Okay, so overall, if you just were to look at this molecule as a whole, it's got a charge of minus 1. And this anion comes up, so it's an anion, it's got a negative charge. And it comes up a fair bit later on when you start talking about substitution reactions. It's called the azid uh, ion, or the azid anion, either one. And sometimes it's abbreviated as M3 minus, okay?